another slide then let's move to this one we are going to have different types of situations or scenarios of projectile so i tried now to start from the basic one moving towards the more complex one so the very first one which will be an object that is now dropped object dropped from a certain height so that will be type number so i did not draw the structure before i only wrote object dropped from a height using the hints to say draw a sketch diagram for the problem given and label all the important parts of the motion that is what i intended to achieve here to say phi if it is dropped from a sitting height then i must have my height of the building which is now the orange section and then it must be moving from uh, point a to point b that is me now labeling all the important parts of the moshi furthermore what is it that i know about uh, this information that is being given to me what i know for certain is the examiner will tell me to say ignore the effects of friction then that guarantees to say i am going to have the value of g which is now 9.8 applying the physics principle is to say if an object is dropped it has now an initial velocity of zero so already what have i done i have now uh, looked into having two variables that will be given so g is given the other one which is now uh, the issue that is dropped it tells me that v initial is also given but now where is that if i do not know how to apply that physics principle then i was not going to be in a position of understanding that v initial should be zero why because it is a hidden information that is within the statement that allows me to apply the physics the physics principle so going back to it we developed an analogy that we call window i'm going to write it again here for purpose of explanation and emphasis we call it window so remember these are just analogies that assist us to understand the science these are just analogies that allows us for 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 us to confirm whether the answers i'm having are indeed correct or are assisting me to get proper information so we window we said v is for the velocity in is for increase and then down is for down so what does it say velocity increases when the object is moving downwards so because of that analogy it means v v at point b relative to point a vb must be greater than va so i am going to perform a calculation to calculate the final velocity before it hits the ground explaining that will be i need now to get a value that is bigger than at point a so where does this now come into play me understanding that it is important to label the parts of the motion where am i 
in the Moshi because the examiner tomorrow will say this is point C and calculate the speed or the height at which it has traveled at point C. So I need to be in a position of comprehending the information at A and the information at C. So because of that, it allows me to know that whatever I am going to calculate at C in terms of velocity, it must be greater than the one at A. We further moved on to say, for each and every type of problems that you are going to get, we need to draw these three important graphs. Position versus time, velocity versus time, acceleration versus time. So with position versus time, we said now, when we look at it, in terms of the height of the building as the reference. It will start at point A, which will be now zero, move to point B for a certain height. But when we are told that the ground is the reference, it will start now at point A, because point A will be at the top of the ground, and then it will start now moving downwards in this particular fashion at P. So this allows me to have now what? A clear understanding of where am I in this particular motion. Then we had velocity versus time. We chose now downwards as positive, so everything must be positive. So it will start at zero because it was dropped and the velocity will increase until it reaches point at a specific time t1. We said acceleration is constant throughout. It is 9.8. So it is a positive 9.8 because now we chose that downward is positive. So this was type 1. And then one will ask, when are we going to calculate and perform calculations? Ladies and gentlemen, I said I am teaching you basic foundation skills that you can apply regardless of what type of question you have. So this is the general and basic approach that I need us to be focusing on. This is the general approach because the questions of science will forever change, but the science will not change behind the question. So let's solidify the foundation thereof. So with this being said, it means I'm now in a position of giving us the 30 seconds to digest and we can move to another one. If you have questions, raise your hand or just type in the chat uh, room there.